welcome if you're new. I'm Sky, and I'm so happy that you're here for this one. In my last few decorating videos, we have spent some time inside, just preparing my home for fall. However, we're gonna take a little pause on the indoor decorating and move out to the front porch. I really wanted to add some color out here and I think it turned out so pretty. So I am going to insert some footage from this past weekend. We went to Lowe's and Trader Joe's and found some super cute things to put out on our front porch. Sorry, there's golf carts going in the background. <laughs> um, but I really love it and I think that you will too. I hope you'll grab a cup of coffee and and enjoy this video. Okay friends, so let's start off by taking a look at the before. So this is kind of what our porch has looked like for the last couple of weeks, minus the new decor that you'll see over here on the right, some plants and pumpkins. Uh, we will put those out shortly, but I did want to just kind of share where we're at with everything. So we did have some beautiful hearth and hand hammock swings that were hanging over here where our little sectional is. And unfortunately, we were not able to keep those out here for very long because they were greatly impacted by the wind and would get caught in our ceiling fan. And we just felt like for safety and for not breaking or ruining our ceiling fans, we needed to return those and then replace it with something. Now, many of you know I've shared that gray isn't necessarily my favorite color. You don't see it in our home often, but um, sometimes the budget doesn't allow for your dream home decor or furniture and you resort to Facebook Marketplace. I do this often, almost weekly. <laughs> and so we returned those hammock swings and decided to just go for something more affordable and functional for our family right now in this specific season. And that was a larger sofa. And I think it looks pretty cute. You'll see we're gonna add some pillows and a throw blanket and it really cozies it up. So here for the decor that I have chosen for this space, I have a beautiful rug. I believe this was Studio McGee. I am really trying to channel in this like deeper, darker red, mauvey, purple-ish color for fall on the porch. You'll see we had one mom that did not survive the um, shopping cart ride from the Lowe's checkout to our van so unfortunately we did have one casualty but aside from that we just kind of made this a family ordeal and everybody got their hands dirty and we potted these in some really affordable little planter pots from Lowe's I did decide to bring out one of the wreaths that I already had from years past from Target and I'm using that on the front door in this kind of transitional summer to fall um, time period and then I am planning to go with something definitely more fall here in the coming weeks. But this was something I already had and like I mentioned we were kind of just on a budget making this little um, transformation on the porch for the season and really trying to channel the fall colors and I felt like that wreath went along with our mums. Now I want to chat for one second about the pumpkins. These are so beautiful. Also from Lowe's. They are heavy y'all. So 
I went with real pumpkins last year and as many of you know they don't last forever especially if you start decorating early I know you can spray paint them and there are different techniques you can do to make them last longer but um, I decided to invest in some pieces that I could use year round so these pumpkins were an investment they were expensive but they're very heavy duty and massive now here you'll see us going in and swapping out the rug. Loved the first rug that we had here. It's just something that I'll be using in the spring and summer. It's a little more tropical and I wanted to really bring that warm fall feel to the porch. So this rug was from our breakfast nook area inside, but it's a jute material from Boutique Rugs and we love it. We've had it for about a year. Then the throw pillows are, I believe, almost all from Target with the exception of this solid white that was from World Market in their summer clearance. And I was able to score just a really simple, affordable little side table that we're using kind of as a coffee table here from World Market. Again, with their summer clearance, it was $29, I believe. and is an outdoor durable little piece of furniture. I can always move my um, decor and we can set our coffee mugs or waters or little plates on that table. So it was perfect to not make the space feel super crowded, but also great to have something functional in there. This candle was a world market find and the really cute little mini wreath was a Hobby Lobby find this fall and I love the candle sitting out here with a cup of coffee reading my Bible and just relaxing with a breeze that's what falls all about. all for this video thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed it and that you'll stick around if you're new don't forget to subscribe and we will just continue the indoor decorating in my next couple of videos to come bye friends